I'm Scott from ScottHermanFitness.com and SeniorsFit Studio. And today we have a special treat for you guys. We're going to show you how to be able to progress towards doing multiple reps with the pull-up. Now I have my buddy here, Keith, with me right now. He's going to go over showing some of the forms on how to do these progressions. Now Keith, you can already do what, like 10 pull-ups in a row? So Keith's been practicing for a while, but it's going to be really great for you guys to see exactly what's going on with him because he's still a bit of a beginner. He's been working out with us for a couple months now. He's doing great. He already has his SHF athlete shirt on because he's, he's ascended towards that level. But what I want to do is we're going to go over here to the pull-up bar, and Keith is going to go over first the, the first step towards being able to do a pull-up. Now the first thing you need to be able to do is hold onto the bar. Obviously, if you can't hold onto the bar, there's no way you're gonna pull yourself back up and down. So what Keith's gonna do is he's gonna jump up and he's gonna hold the bar for three to five seconds and then just jump back down. He's gonna try and stay as straight as he can when he jumps up. Now what he's doing is he's increasing his grip strength. Now if you wanna increase it five to 10 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds, you know, you wanna progress as you get stronger. Because remember, if you're gonna to get to the point where you're doing multiple pull-ups in a row, 10, 15, 20, always see if you have the grip strength, uh, grip strength to be able to do that. If you want to, you can do this five to 10 times, hold it for five to 10 seconds, and then maybe towards the end, after you do about 10 times for 11 and 12, just hold on as long as you can, and then rest, and then do it again. Like I said, we're just working on grip strength. How's that feel holding on there? You feeling forearms? Oh, absolutely. Where are you feeling it the most right now? Forearms, shoulders. Forearms and shoulders. That's where you're supposed to feel. That's good. Now, the next progression, once you guys are able to hold on to the bar, is to be able to do the actual movement. Now, some of you guys might be saying, I can't do that because I can't even do one pull up yet. What I want you guys to do is find a bench or crate or something that you can stand on that you can push off of with your foot to help yourself get into the up position and then slowly lower yourself down. So Keith's going to help us demonstrate again. We're going to pull this bench in. Ready? Now you want to make sure that, so I'm going to you jump up here real quick and just hold on and you do a pull up. You want to make sure the bench is far enough forward so that you can kind of sit back and then hang with your arms. So you can kind of sit back, you can hang with your arms in that when he pushes with his toe, he's not going in front of the bar or directly under the bar because you don't want to hit your head on it. He's doing it so that when he pushes up, he's just far enough back so his face and his chest can clear the bar and he can pull himself all the way up. Now, if you can't do it with one leg, obviously you can use two legs. So why don't you show that one real quick and do your hop. Just like that. Now, what you want to do is try and hold it at the top for a second and then slowly let yourself down. There you go. How high can you get? Really push up there. There you go. You won't hit your head on that. Don't worry. Good. He was turning his head, he doesn't hit the staircase. There you go. So now you see he's controlling it on the way down. Why don't you show them what a couple reps look like not controlling it? See how he starts to get all over the place? So you really want to make sure that when you pull yourself up, you're letting yourself down slowly. Do one more. There you go. He's already fatiguing a little bit. I like that. Okay, so once you practice this, you can move on to another progression which is going to involve a piece of equipment called the Power Pull-Up, which is by Lifeline USA. You guys can pick this up at Sears or there's a link in the info section below. And now what this is going to do, this will take off at maximum 100 pounds off of your body weight. So if you weigh 200 pounds and you can't do a pull-up, you can take off half of that, you can be able to pull yourself up and down and practice your reps. Now, you guys saw Keith using the bench, you know, it looks pretty good. It's very safe. Now check this out. I'm going to adjust this about halfway. Keith's going to put his foot in here. You can have someone help you if you want. Then all you're going to do is hang, just like this. Cross your feet in the front. His arms are lined up. He's in the center. Now I want you to give you a couple reps. Pull yourself up. There you go. Nice and smooth. See how he's staying in line the whole time? He's not bouncing around. It's a really great piece of equipment to help you keep your pull up. Pull it up there. Oh, he's getting fatigued. I like it. One more, one more good one. Ready? And you can have someone spot you too a little bit. Let me see your back foot. Get in there. 
If you have a partner with you and you start to get fatigued even when using something like this, you can grab their ankle. Ready? Pull yourself up. There you go. And just help. And always make sure you control the negative. Why don't you jump down real quick? So Keith, how'd you feel? How'd you feel doing these things? Oh, that felt great. What do you like best about doing it with the bench versus the power pull up? It definitely uh, helps with my lineup, kept me straight, and uh, overall, it's a lot easier. A lot easier. So there you go, guys. Some really great progressions to be able to go from not doing a pull up at all towards multiple reps. So I'm Scott from ScottHermanFitness.com, and this here's the studio. This is Keith Pendak. <laughs> you guys will see more of him in the future. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.